the National Democratic Party of Germany, is a far-right political party in Germany. It was founded in 1964 as successor to the German Reich Party. Party statements also self-identify the party as Germany's only significant patriotic force. On January 1, 2011, the far-right German People's Union merged with the NPD and the party name of the National Democratic Party of Germany was extended by the addition of the People's Union. The party is usually described as a neo-Nazi organization, and has been referred to as the most significant neo-Nazi party to emerge after 1945. The German Federal Agency for Civic Education, or BPB, has criticized the NPD for working with members of organizations which were later found unconstitutional by the federal courts and disbanded, while the German Federal Office for the Protection of the Constitution, the Bundesamt Far One Quarter of Verfassungsschutz, classifies the NPD as a threat to the constitutional order, because of its platform and philosophy, and it is under their observation. An effort to outlaw the party failed in 2003, because the government had a large number of informers and agents in the party, some in high position, who had right and part of the material used against them. Since its founding in 1964, the NPD has never managed to win enough votes on the federal level to cross Germany's 5% minimum threshold for representation in the Bundestag. It has succeeded in crossing the 5% threshold and gaining representation in state parliaments 11 times, including the current parliament in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. Ardo Voigt led the NPD from 1996 to 2011. He was succeeded by Holger Apfel, who in turn was replaced by Otto Pastor Paragraph RS in December 2013. Voigt was elected the party's first member of the European Parliament in 2014. The Ring National Lebfrauen is a body within the NPD of Germany, founded on September 16, 2006, to represent women's interests. The leader of the organization is Jasmine Apfel, wife of NPD politician Holger Apfel. Platform and Philosophy The NPD's political philosophy coincides with the notion of a third political position, an idea which developed amidst criticisms of both liberal capitalism and communism. The NPD also endorses certain beliefs about human nature. NPD leader Ardo Voig states that the philosophy of the NPD differs from both communism and social liberalism in that it acknowledges people as unequal products of their societies and environments, largely governed by what is called natural law. Voig states that the party is also influenced by the views of modern ethologists such as Conrad Lawrence and Irina Currency S. Bleibesfeldt. The NPD calls itself a party of grandparents and grandchildren, because the 1960s generation in Germany, known for the leftist student movement, strongly opposes the NPD's policies. The NPD's economic program promotes social security for Germans and control against plutocracy, but it does not oppose private property. They discredit and reject the liberal capitalist system. The NPD argues that NATO fails to represent the interests and needs of European people. The party considers the European Union to be little more than a reorganization of a Soviet-style Europe along financial lines. Although highly critical of the EU, as long as Germany remains a part of it, the NPD opposes Turkey's incorporation into the organization. Voig envisions future collaboration and continued friendly relations with other nationalists and European national parties. The NPD's platform asserts that Germany is larger than the present-day Federal Republic, and calls for a return of German territory lost after World War II, a foreign policy position abandoned by the German government in 1990. At one point, a map of Germany was shown on the party website omitting the border that divides Germany from Austria. The NPD also failed to color in the Odera Euro Nice line, the border which established the limits of federal Germany to the east and was agreed upon with Poland in 1990. The 2005 report of the Federal Office for the Protection of the Constitution contains the following description. The party continues to pursue a People's Front of the Nationals, consisting of the NPD, DVU, and forces not attached to any party which is supposed to develop into a base for an encompassing German people's movement. The aggressive agitation of the NPD unabashedly aims towards the abolition of parliamentary democracy and the democratic constitutional state, 
although the use of violence is currently still officially rejected for tactical reasons. Statements of the NPD document an essential affinity with National Socialism. Its agitation is racist, anti-Semitic, revisionist, and intends to disparage the democratic and lawful order of the Constitution. International Connections Voig has held meetings with various proponents of white nationalism, including American politician David Duke. History equals Early history equals the NPD achieved success in the late 1960s, winning local government seats across West Germany. In 1966 and 1967, it won 15 seats in Bavaria, 10 in Lower Saxony, 8 in Hesse, and several other seats. However, it did not then and has never since received the minimum 5% of votes in federal elections that allow a party to send delegates to the German parliament. The NPD came the closest to that goal in the 1969 election, when it got 4.3% of the vote. An economic downturn, frustrations with the emerging leftist youth counterculture and the emergence of a coalition government between the center-right Christian Democratic Party, the Christian Social Union, and the center-left Social Democratic Party helped pave the way for those NPD gains. The coalition government had created a vacuum in the traditional political right wing, which the NPD tried to fill. The historian Walter Lacure has argued that the NPD in the 1960s cannot be classified as a neo-Nazi party. Yet, when the coalition fell apart, around 75% of those who had voted for the NPD drifted back to the centre-right. During the 1970s, the NPD went into decline suffering from an internal split over failing to get into the German parliament. The issue of immigration spurred a small rebound in popular interest from the mid-1980s to the early 1990s, but the party only saw limited success in various local elections. Equals recent history equals Electoral history, since its founding in 1964, has only won seats in regional assemblies. Its successes in state parliaments can be grouped into two periods, the late 1960s, and former East Germany since reunification. In the 2004 state election in Saxony, the NPD won 9.2% of the overall vote. The NPD currently sends eight representatives to the Saxony state parliament, the Landtag, having lost four representatives in the 2009 elections. The NPD maintained a non-competition agreement with the German People's Union between 2004 and 2009. The third white nationalist-oriented party, the Republicans, has so far refused to join this agreement. However, Kstin Lawrence, a local representative of the Republicans in Saxony, sabotaged her party's registration to help the NPD in the Saxony election. In the 2005 federal elections, the NPD received 1.6% of the vote nationally. It garnered the highest percent of votes in the states of Saxony, Thuringia, Mecklenburg Vorpommern, and Brandenburg. In most other states, the party won around 1% of the total votes cast. In the 2006 Mecklenburg Vorpommern state election, the NPD received 7.3% of the vote and thus achieved state representation there, as well. The NPD had 5,300 registered party members in 2004. Over the course of 2006, the NPD processed roughly 2,000 party applications to push the membership total over 7,200. In 2008, the trend of a growing number of members has been reversed and NPD's membership is estimated at about 7,000. In the 2014 European elections, Ardo Voigt was elected as the party's first member of the European Parliament. 2001 A Euro 2003 banning attempt, in 2001, the federal government, the Bundestag, and the Bundesrat jointly attempted to have the federal constitutional court ban the NPD. The court, the highest court in Germany, has the exclusive power to ban parties if they are found to be anti-constitutional. However, the petition was rejected in 2003 after it was discovered that a number of the NPD's inner circle EA Euro including as many as 30 of its top 200 Liad Ursa Euro were in fact undercover agents or informants of the German secret services, like the federal Bundesamt Far one quarter over for some schutz. 
They include a former deputy chairman of the party and author of an anti-Semitic tract that formed a central part of the government's case. Since the secret services were unwilling to fully disclose their agents' identities and activities, the court found it impossible to decide which moves by the party were based on genuine party decisions and which were controlled by the secret services in an attempt to further the ban. The court determined that so many of the party's actions were influenced by the government that the resulting lack of clarity made it impossible to defend a ban. The presence of the state at the leadership level makes influence on its aims and activities unavoidable, it concluded. Horst Mahler, a former member of the far-left terrorist organization Red Army Faction, defended the NPD before the court. In May 2009, several state politicians published an extensive document which they claim proves the NPD's opposition to the Constitution without relying on information supplied by undercover agents. This move was intended to lead up to a second attempt to have the NPD banned. Merger with DVU, at the 2010 NPD party conference at Bamberg it was announced that the party would ask its members to approve a merger with the German People's Union. After the merger on January 1, 2011, the party name of the NPD was extended by the addition of the People's Union. Between 2004 and 2009 the two parties had agreed not to compete against each other in elections. However, on January 27, 2011, the Munich Landgericht in a preliminary injunction declared the merger null and void. Equals World War II and Holocaust commemoration controversies equals. On January 21, 2005, during a moment of silence in the Saxon State Assembly in Dresden to mark the 60th anniversary of the liberation of the Nazi Auschwitz extermination camp, 12 members of the NPD walked out in protest. The NPD stated that they were upset that a moment of silence was being held for those who died in the Auschwitz camp and that none was being given for those who died during the bombing of Dresden in World War II, with the anniversary of both events falling relatively close to each other. Holger Apfel, leader of the NPD in Saxony and deputy leader of the party nationwide, made a speech in the Saxon state parliament in which he called the Allied forces of the United States and the United Kingdom mass murderers, because of their role in the bombing. His colleague, Jawan Kortara G. N. Ganzel went on to describe the bombing itself as a holocaust of bombs. Voigt voiced his support and reiterated the statement, which some controversially claimed was a violation of the German law which forbids Holocaust denial. However, after judicial review, it was decided that Otto Voig's description of the 1945 RAF bombing of Dresden as a Holocaust was an exercise of free speech and defamation of the dead was not the purpose of his statement. In 2009, the NPD joined the Junge Landsmannschaft Ostdeutschland in a demonstration on the anniversary of the bombing of Dresden in World War II. 6,000 people took part in the event. Equals activism and controversy equals, the NPD's strategy has been to create national free zones, and circumvent its marginal electoral status by concentrating on regions where support is strongest. In March 2006, musician Konstantin Wecker tried to set up an in-school anti-fascist concert in Halberstadt, Saxony and Halt two weeks before the state elections. The NPD argued that because of politics, the date and the in-school venue, the concert was an unacceptable form of political campaigning. In protest, the NPD vowed to buy the tickets and turn up en masse at Wecker's show, which led local authorities to cancel the event. The Social Democrats and the Greens were outraged by the decision, which the Central Council of Jews in Germany called politically bankrupt. The NPD was going to sponsor a march through Leipzig on June 21, 2006, as the 2006 World Cup was going on. The party wanted to show its support for the Iranian national football team, which was playing in Leipzig, and Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. However, the NPD decided against the demonstration. Only a counter-demonstration took place that day, in support of Israel. During the World Cup, the party's website stated that due to the prevalence of people of non-German descent on the German national football team, the team was not really German. Later in 2006, the party designed leaflets, which said white a euro not just the color of a jersey. For a true national team. This leaflet was never mass distributed, 
but copies were confiscated during a raid on the NPD's headquarters, when authorities had been hoping to find material linking the party to Nazism. Patrick Owamoyela was later informed about the poster after it was noted that the image depicted a footballer wearing a white jersey with Owamoyela's number on it. Owamoyela, of Nigerian descent, had played for the German national team in the years before the World Cup and proceeded to file a lawsuit against the party. The party was able to delay the procedures but in April 2009 three party officials were sentenced for Volkspartsam. In November 2008, shortly after the 2008 United States presidential election, the NPD published a document entitled Africa Conquers the White House, which stated that the election of Barack Obama as the first African-American president of the United States was the result of the American alliance of Jews and Negroes and that Obama aimed to destroy the United States' white identity. The NPD claimed, a non-white America is a declaration of war on all people who believe an organically grown social order based on language and culture, history and heritage to be the essence of humanity, and Barack Obama hides this declaration of war behind his pushy sunshine smile. The NPD also stated that the extensive support for Obama in Germany resembles an African tropical disease. In September 2009, another incident involving the NPD and a football player of the German national team was reported. In a television show of a regional channel, NPD spokesman Bayer called midfielder Messutter Zilla Plas Deutscher, meaning someone who is not born German, but becomes German by naturalization, particularly for certain benefits. The German Football Association announced that they would immediately file a lawsuit against the NPD and their spokesman, if requested by Azil. During the Gaza War in 2009, the NPD planned a Holocaust vigil for Gaza in support of the Palestinians. Charlotte Knobloch, the head of the Central Council of Jews in Germany, said joint hatred of everything Jewish is unifying neo-Nazis and Islamists. Knobloch claimed German-Palestinian protesters unashamedly admitted that they would vote for the NPD during the next election. In April 2009, the party was fined €2.5 million Euro for filing incorrect financial statements, resulting, according to Deutsche Well, in serious financial trouble for its administration. On September 23, 2009, four days before the federal elections, German police raided the Berlin headquarters of the NPD to investigate claims that letters sent from the NPD to politicians from immigrant backgrounds incited racial hatred. The NPD leader in Berlin defended the letters saying that as part of a democracy we're entitled to say if something doesn't suit us in this country. 2011 Banning Attempt In 2011, authorities were reportedly trying to link the party and specifically 30-year-old National Organization Director Patrick Weishk, to the so-called Zwickai terrorist cell. This raised the possibility of another effort to outlaw the party. The cell had been implicated in a string of murders in the November robbery of a savings bank in the Asenich. Authorities were also pursuing a gun case against Rolf Wabern, former deputy chairman of the party's branch in Thuringia though the latter case was reportedly unlikely to translate into a national-level challenge to the party's legal standing. The likelihood of success of renewed banning attempts has been questioned, given the Office for the Protection of the Constitution has over 130 informants in the party, some in high positions, raising the question of whether the party is effectively controlled by the government. 2012 Thorsteinar Clothing Controversy, in June 2012 Several NPD members of Saxony's parliament attended the parliament sittings wearing clothing from Thor Steinar, a clothing brand that is popular amongst neo-Nazis. The legislature responded by saying that such provocative clothing was not permitted to be worn in the parliament and demanded that the NPD members remove and replace their attire. The NPD members refused, resulting in the members being expelled from the parliament and banned from attending the next three parliamentary sittings. The NPD members denied accusations that they wore the shirts as a deliberate provocation. 2012 Banning Attempt German officials tried to outlaw the party again in December 2012, with the interior ministers of all 16 states recommending a ban. The Federal Constitutional Court is yet to vote on the recommendation. In March 2013 the Merkel government said it would not try to ban the NPD. Presidents of the NPD 
Friedrich Thiel in 1964 a Euro 1967, Adolf von Madden 1967 a Euro 1971, Martin Musknach 1971 a Euro 1990, Gar one quarter N. T. Ledeckert 1991 a Euro 1996, Otto Voigt 1996 a Euro 2011, Holger Apfel 2011 a Euro 2013, Otto Pasta Paragraph RS 2013 a Euro 2014, Frank France 2014 a Euro present. Election results in current representation. Equals Federal Parliament equals the NPD currently have five representatives elected in one state regional parliament, which is the 71-seat Landtag of Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. See also, far-right politics in Germany, irredentism, politics of Germany, list of political parties in Germany, Frank Rennick, list of National Democratic Party of Germany politicians. Notes External links, NPD website, party platform of the NPD, History of the National Democratic Party, NPD Russia, BBC News colon poll boost for German far right.